Hi guys, this week I have a bonus plan with me for you guys and it is my monthly inserts plan with me in the 1407 planners inserts and you can see that I'm planning in the September insert and that is totally wrong, it should be August and I do eventually realize and start transferring all the washi and the bow stickers that I used back to August. Speaking of washi, both of the tapes are from Simply Gilded. The books one is her August sub box, I believe, and the white and gold is just a washi from her shop. So I did this in my July monthly plan with me as well, but basically for these monthly plan with me's, instead of talking about what stickers I'm using, I kind of want to talk about a topic and share my two cents, give you guys some advice, and I do have to warn you guys that you really should take whatever I say with a grain of salt because I am just a month over being 18. So 99% of you guys probably have more experiences than I do, and what I'm saying could be totally bonkers, but I just wanted to chat with you guys. For this video, I want to focus on time management and how I'm able to balance being a full-time student and running an Etsy shop and mostly posting on YouTube frequently. That's a little bit debatable, but I do have a lot of things going on in my daily life and time management definitely plays a role in how I am able to handle all of it. So I am living by myself now, which means I do everything myself and, and even the little tasks throughout the day can definitely add up and eat up a lot of time. I definitely try not to eat out as often since university is already so expensive and I don't really want to add to that bill so I do cook most of my meals and to save time and money I always sit down on a Sunday night and figure out what I'm going to eat for the next week. I don't necessarily do a meal prep but I do just plan out what I'm going to eat, what ingredients I need and what I need to buy. So when I'm at the grocery store I know exactly what to go for and I don't overbuy and I don't buy random things that I don't need. As soon as a professor makes an assignment available and gives a due date, it is the first thing that I do. Even if it's due two weeks or a month from now, I try to get it done as soon as possible. Another benefit of doing this is that before you submit your assignment, you can review your work from a few weeks ago and you tend to notice a lot of mistakes. So aside from getting your assignments done and freeing up your time, you can also maybe grab onto a few extra marks just by catching those little mistakes. So even in high school, prioritizing has allowed me to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Basically how it works for me is that if I know that there is a really important project or an exam the next day, then I am not really going to bother with my shop. And that just means that I will still reply to emails and customer service because that is really important to me. And also probably very important to you guys that I reply to my emails as well. So I will still do those little things, but I won't worry about designing new releases or anything like that and instead focus the majority of my time in school. My final tip for you guys is to give yourself a little bit of leeway. Little things like going to the bathroom and showering and eating really do add up at the end of the day and you may not be able to get as many things as you would like done and that can really bring you down. So if you're scheduling say an hour to an assignment, maybe give yourself a 15 minute add on time. This time can account for setting up your workspace or getting a snack and that way you can theoretically get most of the things on your to-do list done and if you do end up having some extra time, you can either invest it back into yourself or get something else done. So yeah, those are my really simple tips and I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video. If you guys have any tips on time management, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'm always open to trying new methods of improving my daily life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.